back to the 2018 Granny Square Crochet Along. Today we are making this tulip square. Um, I've got our pretty tulips in a row here and um, it's a really easy stitch to work up. It might look like it's a little complicated but actually it's really simple to work up. We are using single crochets on the um, in between rows and then we're doing double crochets um, in a V stitch and then we're doing a cluster stitch which is three three double crochets in a cluster so that is it that's all we're doing nice and simple and then we're going to put a border around I haven't done the border on this one um, but I'm going to do it with you um, when we get to that part um, of our square um, and you can probably see this one has a wider bottom um, than it, when it goes up. Um, yes, and some of us have wider bottoms too. <laughs> uh, talking about myself here. Um, now, I have the same amount of stitches, but because this um, was obviously done a bit looser, and then I must have sort of pulled in a bit tighter, so I would just encourage you to be aware of your tension on this, and when we work further up, that you keep it nice and loose, or you... Um, or it will end up the same as mine. Um, so I just wanted to keep that there to show you how um, how it can change as it goes up. So anyway, um, I'm going to use three colours. I'm going to change the colours I did here. Um, I will keep my green for the, um, the stems, obviously. Um, and I'm going to use a lighter pink instead of white. And um, I'm going to have some purple um, lilac coloured flowers. Uh, I don't know if you can hear the birds there, they're being quite noisy. It is a beautiful sunny day here um, in the UK and um, I have my door and window open so I can hear the birds quite nicely. Um, so I'm just getting my um, yarn here ready for my bottom row to start with and um, do a slip knot and then we'll get started. Okay, so you need to start with a chain of 21, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, now this will give you um, six flowers along. Um, if you crochet a bit tighter, you might want to add some chains to this. So you can add in multiples of three. So I would suggest that you do 24 chains um, if you need to um, increase. Um, but like I said, we will be putting a border on here anyway. So that will bring your size up um, and you can increase your size that way. Um, but if you would like to add three more stitches, I'm sorry, three more chains, you can do. And you'll just do, like I said, just do one more flower um, and I'll explain that when we get to that point. But for purposes of following the pattern and not confusing you, I'm chaining 21. I'm just going to move my camera down a bit. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to do a single crochet in each chain um, from the second chain. So skip the first one, go into the second and do a single crochet in each one, making 20 single crochets. And then when you get to the last one, um, do the last one and then uh, chain one, turn your work and do 20 single crochets all the way back. And I'll meet you when you have two rows of 20 single crochets. Okay, when you have your two rows of 20 single crochets, it will look something like this. It will want to ping up and curl, but don't worry, it will um, correct itself once we start working up. Well, it'll correct itself to a certain point, it does still like to curl. But once we've done the border, it'll be fine. Now, I've just moved my, um, what I'm going to call my background colour, I've just moved that aside for now. Um, and I'm going to bring in the colour for my um, flower stems. Um, I can find the end of it. Okay, now there's lots of ways you can change colour at the end of your row. The way I'm going to change colour today is I've just made a loop. I haven't knotted it or anything. I'm just going to pull that through the previous colour, pull that colour right down to the bottom there, and then I'm just going to snip this colour off. Now, I will warn you, this pattern 
does end up with a lot of ends because we are changing colour a lot. Now because we're doing a border, if you want to carry your colours up the side, you can do that. But just be aware that you are carrying it quite away. Um, this colour here, you'd be carrying it all the way up here. So just be aware of that, okay? But by all means, if you want to um, carry your colour up the side, you can do that. Um, just otherwise, just, you know, put on a movie, um, stick the radio on and um, just enjoy sewing those ends in. Just take your time. Um, okay, so we are going to now um, do a chain three as our first double crochet. And then turn your work. And then you're going to skip the very first stitch where your chain is coming from. So skip that very first stitch. And then skip your next stitch as well. Because this first one is where this is chained from. So that counts as our first double crochet. And then we're skipping the next stitch. And then in the third stitch, we're going to do our V stitch. A V stitch is a double crochet chain one and double crochet in the very same stitch and then you can see we have this sort of v shape okay and then we are moving straight on you skip two stitches go into the next stitch and do a v stitch double crochet chain one and a double crochet skip two stitches do a v stitch in the third Double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the same stitch. Skip two stitches, V stitch in the third stitch, chain one, double crochet in the same stitch. Skip two stitches and another V stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Skip two stitches, go into the third. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the same stitch. Skip one stitch and then you've got your last stitch. Unless you have added three chains. If you added three chains at the beginning, you will have had 23 single crochets and you will be doing one more V stitch. Okay, so we've done one, two, three, four, five, six. You'll be doing seven V stitches, okay? 23 single crochets instead of 20 and seven V stitches, okay? And everything else exactly the same. So when you get to your last two stitches, skip a stitch and then do a double crochet into your very last stitch to make sure you're getting the whole stitch. And there you go. There's your first row of your V stitches or your flower stems. There we go. So now it's time to get your flower colour. I'm going to use my um, lilac colour. Okay, and I'm going to join this exactly the same way that I joined my green. I'm just going to pull it through that loop and then pull this previous colour down and snip that green. Okay, so now we're going to make our flowers, our tulips. So to make your tulips, you are going to chain four. And your chain four will count as a double crochet and a chain one. So one, two, three, four turn your work and then you are going to in these um the top of these v stitches the way you've got your chain one spaces all the way along um you're going to do those clusters so yarn over insert into that space yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two so that's a partial or incomplete double crochet then do that again yarn over insert yarn over pull through so that's three times and pull through two and you'll have four loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all four and there is your pretty little flower so then you are going to chain two and go straight over to the next one yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two 
two loops, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, three loops, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, four loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all four, and chain two. Straight over into the next um, chain one space, and you're going to do that the same again for three times doing a partial double crochet, four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through, chain two, and into the next one, two, and three, and pull through. Let's get some more yarn. You can carry on doing that in your next couple of Vs. Chain two, and we go one, two, three, yarn over, pull through all four, chain two, last V, one, two, three, and pull through. And then you're going to do a chain one instead of a chain two just a chain one remember down here we did a chain four which counted as a double crochet and a chain one so therefore we only want to chain one this side as well and then you're going to do a double crochet in the top of this chain three so one two three oh my top chain's gone very small do your double crochet in the top of there there you go that's your first row of your flowers looking lovely and pretty and this is where you want to be careful that you're not making your chains too small to pull it in because we don't want this to happen as um happened here okay so i want to go like that and then go in so just make sure you're working nice and evenly along there okay so it's time to go back to our background color so grab that change over colors in whichever way you prefer to change colours and I will see you in a second. Okay, so you're going to do a chain one and turn your work. And just to say, if you have joined your colours the same as me, you are going to need to fasten these off really well um, at the end. Um, you might want to just tie them loosely together um, because they don't have any fastening off. They've got no knots or anything. So just make sure when you come to sew them in, that you, you do that well. Um, you do not want your work to start coming undone, okay? So just be aware of that. Okay, so you are going to do a um, single crochet row. So you're going to do it, um, you've done a chain one, you're going to do a single crochet in the top of this double crochet here at the end. Do this will want to work its way loose, but just um, don't worry, you can sort it out at the end. Okay, then a single crochet in the chain one space single crochet in the top of your popcorn. Now, which is the top of your popcorn, you might say? Well, this side was your chain one, so this side is the top of your, um, not popcorn, sorry, your cluster. Okay, so a uh, single crochet in there. And then um, two single crochets in your chain two space. Try and keep these nice and loose so you're not pulling your work in. And then a single crochet in the top of your cluster, two single crochets in your chain two space. single crochet in the top of your cluster, two single crochets in your chain two space, one in the top of your cluster, two in the chain space, one in the top of the cluster, two in the chain space, one in the top of your cluster, one in the chain space, and then you're going to do one in the third chain up because this was four chains. So you want the third chain up. So one, two, three, and a single crochet into that third chain. And there we go. And then you are going to chain one, turn your work and single crochet all the way back along. Okay, and I'll see you back at this end. And um, when you get to the end um, here, with your 20 or 23 single crochets, then um, change back to your green or whatever colour you're using here. Um, okay, so change your colour back and I will see you then.
Okay, so here's my um, single crochet rows all completed and um, now it's time to change to do our um, flower stems. So I've changed my colour and I'm going to chain three for my um, double crochet and then skip these first two stitches into the third stitch. I'm going to do that V stitch, so double crochet chain one and a double crochet in the same space and then you're going to do this all the way down you're going to skip two stitches skip two stitches and do a V stitch in the third skip two stitches and do a V stitch in the third do this all the way along and then when you get to the end you will be skipping one stitch and doing a double crochet into your final stitch okay I'll meet you at the end of the row okay here we go i've just um tied um my ends together here just to stop them moving around um so i've just tied them together okay it makes them a bit more secure as well then so for our next row we're going to start our um flowers again so i've changed my color and i'm going to do a chain four for my double crochet and chain one and then I'm going to work into my first V stitch and do that cluster. So three partial double crochets, ending with four loops and yarn over, pull three, chain two. And then you're going to do the same in the next and all the way along. And before your very last one, you are just going to chain one and I will see you back there. So do one into each of your V stitches and I'll meet you to do the last one. If I can pause. Okay, so I've done my last one and then I'm going to do a chain I've done a chain one, <laughs> my last one and a chain one and then you're going to go into the third chain here and do a double crochet in that top chain. Double crochet, there we go. And there's your row of petals completed. Looking very pretty, very pretty. Just be aware of if you're starting to pull in. I can see, you can probably see it too, that it is starting to pull in a bit. So I must have made these chains a little bit um, tighter than before. Um, but that's no problem. We can sort it out in the next row. So it's time to do another um, two rows of single crochet. So um, you probably know what to do by now. Um, you're going to change your colour over and then you're going to do a single crochet row. If you need to, just rewind the video, I think about six minutes um, and follow that to do your um, two rows of single crochet. Another row of um, stems and another row of flowers. Um, and then you're going to finish with two more rows of single crochet. So just as this one here excuse me um you're going to have single crochets and then your um, stems flowers single crochets okay and i'll meet you when you've done that final and um, this final rows um, and we'll have a look at the border together okay here we go here's my finished article i've done all my rows and it's just time for the border to be done um the border um suggested is a single crochet border so you will do um, a single crochet around um, one in each stitch on the top and the bottom and um, we've got 20 there or you might have 23 if you did um, those extra three um and then so then you would do 20 down um, each side um and you just have to kind of place them sort of um roughly equal so as I've suggested to you before, find halfway. So halfway on this is here between your uh, between my green and my purple. Um, that's halfway. So then I would you could pop a stitch marker in if you like, and then I know I need ten on each side. Um, and then in your corners you're going to do three single crochets um, to make those nice and square. So that's um, fairly similar to things we've done before. Um, I 
I don't think I need to show you that. I'm just going to work my border um, in a moment. Um, you might want to try and crochet over your um, ends, um, which can work. You might have some of the colour show through, um, which it depends how you feel about that um, as to what you do for that. Um, but what I did on this one was I've sewn all my ends in ready to do a border um, because I just think it it makes um would make the end border so much neater and um, a lot less bulky um but if by all means if you're using one of the same colors to do your border then so if i was choosing to do the border in the purple which i think i might be doing um, or i might be doing green um you can leave the color that you're doing the border you can leave that one to sew it um to work with your border and just sew in the colors that you're not using so i would sew in these green ones and I would sew in my light pink um, because they're the ones that will show um, against that different colour. Um, okay, so um, the only thing you need to decide is which which uh, side of this work you want to be the front or the back. Um, you've got some of the stitches are one way, some of the other. So um, technically, our flower petals are on the wrong side. Um, and technically our single crochets are a bit half and half and our stems are or stalks are on the right side so just have a look at your sides and see which side you prefer for your front and then um, do your border with your front facing you so that your single crochets will all be facing the right way okay hopefully that all makes sense um, I will leave you to go ahead and do that um, and I'll do mine and um, I'll show you my finished result at the end and there we go I finished my border I've done two rounds of single crochet um, in the color of my flowers just to um, bring that out a bit more um, obviously do whatever color you prefer to do it doesn't even have to be one of the colors that you've already used um, so you can see mine probably isn't quite as square as it could be um, I probably could have done with adding one more flower into my row so that adding that extra three chains um, so uh, yeah just have a play see how big you need it to be and um, see your pretty tulip flowers i love this square i think it's so cute and it's so easy to do and it looks like it's a bit more complicated but so simple to do um so if you found this useful or helpful um you've enjoyed crocheting along with me please click that like button just down there and um, give us a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed then hit that subscribe button and be sure to hit the bell um then you'll know as soon as our squares um our videos are up um, if you've not already joined the group, uh, the Facebook group, then the link is in that description below where um, we'd love to see you over there and um, see photos of your squares. We love to see how you um, how you change them up, what you do with them, the colours you, you choose. Um, it's great to see all that over there. So um, come and join us and uh, until next time, just keep cooking and don't let your tea get cold.